If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's free. Second, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. I hope you go to church. Three, two, one. We have Saulo Hibero. Uh, more than anything, can you give us, like, can you share the story of how everything began? Oh, it's uh, too much. You gotta yeah, be more I, I mean, specific. I mean, I mean, like, 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 because... like how, what shifted from being a career guy to teaching jiu-jitsu, what prompted you to, because you were a lawyer, so you're a lawyer, you're a judge, then what made you choose between wearing a gi for the rest of your life versus practicing law? Because uh, it's two different lifestyles that are opposites and dealing with the power, with control, and I just find my way to be complete as a person, as a warrior, as an individual, and challenge myself. And I don't think that I chose Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu chose me before because it's like a bug. Okay. And I always had that in my life. And I'm not gonna take my decisions for money or for career, for every else of the world would think about it. I just like to get myself into the stage of survival mode and see what play it out. The thing is, people play life and play uh, the choices like in math. Oh, if I go two plus two is four. And the, in, when you make life decisions, not you only know what's gonna happen if you start to let the ball game going. Mm. If you just play God and try to pre- oh, if you do this, you're gonna get that. That's what our parents like to do in, to secure, but not insecure. We can die today. Yeah, that's true. And that's something that you gotta follow your heart and what is your passion is it. And my passion was in Jiu-Jitsu because Jiu-Jitsu was able to control my demons. Oh. And if something can control my demons, I say, oh man, this is for me. Okay. Because more or less that was like, uh, I mean, this is something that happened to me like last year. Like, I, I reached a point in my life where it, I was like, is this something that's gonna make me happy? I have to be, I, I came at that part in my life where I had to choose, do I do something that's gonna make me happy or and something? And you touch it like a profound subject yeah. because what's the secret of success? Be happy. Yes, that's true. So, if you're not, man, something I'm like is one wrong of those, life. So, I mean, it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy, it's hard. It's a, it's a tough choice that I work on every day and I do my best to to, to work on myself and to work on the things that I have to do but I come home and I could honestly look at myself in the mirror and say that well this is something I like doing this makes me happy helping others become better makes me happy so now everyone is not, I mean for us especially me and my teammates here we know of the success of Hibero as a school and now as an institution and as a personal brand as something that everyone knows but how was it building it up through the years like of course every success story has plenty of failures so how were you able to deal with those failures how were you able to deal focus with each? in the accomplishment because the world is bringing negativity every second of the way mm-hmm. bring you doubt of yourself bring you doubt that you able okay go beyond measure if you hold on to the positivity, to the things that you accomplish and make you fucking feel good about yourself. Uh-huh. You gotta just erase all the thoughts that come three in the morning and make you fucking lose your sleep. And that's something that the people sometimes try recreational drugs to feel good about themselves. Mm-hmm. No, you gotta just focus on the positivity of every single thing you're doing every day. So, and that will give you like in, in the right side of the thing because uh, we are our worst enemy and uh, sometimes we get caught in the middle and we have the tendency to punish ourselves yeah. and if things doesn't go our way we tend to really go hard on ourselves and all that 
just take from us our greatest quality that it is our heart. Mm -hmm. And what about, I mean, going specific is like, how was it starting your own school? I don't have like a school. What, right, I have right. a place that will build uh, energy mm -hmm. that will attract the same energy. Mm -hmm. Because everything is law of attraction. Law of attraction. Yes. And the beers have arrived. Yes. <laughs> See Richard. Go Prof. Chart. Go muna na kayo. Muna na kayo. Dadating na. Where is your, where is the rest? No, got away. I think they're going to order more. Okay, yeah. We just as strong as our weakest link. <laughs> so everybody has to have yeah. beer. Hello, podcast. Hello, podcast. Hello, podcast. Yeah. Hello, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> don't treat me like outside I don't like it oh, oh, okay. Okay. So this is like it so this is for the next Family round for the next, for, for the next round oh, yeah. hold it for the next round the next yeah round. okay we'll save it for the next round the real solo oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh. cheers 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 solo thank you for coming don't treat again. me like a gringo yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. definitely no gringo for the next round okay don't, ex don't explain your methodology. <laughs> so now, next question, like this is, I could... And the thing is, the formula is simple. Be surrounded by good people, care, be selfish, and cultivate the love. Because love is the most powerful weapon in the world. And we stop love the other because we stop love ourselves mm -hmm. and the reason why is because uh, we become numb we don't want to feel pain but when you don't feel pain you don't evolve it's a form and believe it or not i mean it, as cliche as it may sound love is such a powerful tool and i see it's the most powerful it's, i see it every day in the gym especially with some of our students who are like they're fighting depression they're they have bouts with anxiety and some of them have been they came from abusive relationships they, they you were, know why because uh jujitsu make you leave the power of now mm -hmm. you can't think while you're training <laughs> that's you're there, man. <laughs> That's 100%. That's not going to make 100%. you numb like that. You <laughs> fucking hell. I mean, it's, it's, and it's the it's, pleasure. And the, also, you, you connect with another energy that becomes a synergy. Mm -hmm. Synergy, I'm going to feel what you feel. And you, if I'm generous enough, I'm going to say, hey, man, is there anything you can do for you? Mm -hmm. And that's when you multiply the lot. Mm -hmm. Is when you care for somebody else. And Jiu-Jitsu brings that kind of a relationship. See, that, that's... That is exactly, these are the words that I need to hear. These are the words that these people need to hear so that they could be able to communicate better when it comes to showing someone, telling someone that doesn't have any idea what jujitsu is Do you about. know that you are a very intimidating guy? If I walk in the street, look at you. No, 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 no. He is intimidating. No, 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 no. He's insane. <laughs> He's insane. Yeah. 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 Richard's He's insane. He's intimidating. He's insane. <laughs> I am no, not. I am not. I am not. All right. Dwight, do I, I look like? Do I look like an intimidating uh, guy? No. No. Uh, uh, there was a split second. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and, uh, and the thing is, we are very reserved people. Yes, we are. Uh, it's not, it will, where we say, oh, I don't care. No, actually, we care too much. So mm -hmm. we rather I'm not agree. get involved. Yes. <laughs> because if we give our opinion, people are going to get okay, offended. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're too sensitive. Yeah, but when good. it's time to be sensitive, they are not. They are not. Good thing for me, I don't care about other people's opinions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we do. We do. Me, but, but I have this hierarchy. I have this hierarchy of people who whose opinions and, and emotions I care about. Okay? But everyone else, they're like white noise. But uh, why you think they have such a negative opinion about, for example, yourself? Me, I don't know. I honestly don't know. You see? But it's always that first no, impression look, thing. 
when you become a sensei, you gotta know why. Because your students gonna have to deal with it and, yes. and they're gonna trust you for the words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't do for yourself, you gotta do for the other. That That's is. when you become a sensei, it becomes a higher power. Mm -hmm. Because they might not listen to their mother, to their boss, but they will listen to you. Okay. You know why? Because you control the odds of his life. It's in your hands. Okay. No, that is it's something a powerful. I got goosebumps because look at me today. I came for a seminar yesterday, we were part of Look how much energy I have. Mm -hmm. Why? Look how many hugs of appreciation and love I have today. Oh, yeah. How many hugs Plenty. you have in a lifetime? I have over 50 just today. That power. People don't touch each other no more in Jiu Jitsu. It's the name of the game. Man. It's a very powerful tool. And then, so it's my something sensitivity that... is like a, one of my highest quality because. I deal with 15 countries, I deal with all kinds of people. And people are the same, flesh and blood is the essence and the soul that will give you the reference of what is made of. Couldn't say it any, any better. <laughs> but when it comes to when it comes to communicating to people who do not or let's say for people that don't have any idea you show them something you express yourself you tell them in all honesty that this is what jiu-jitsu is but how about the naysayers how about people who do not believe in what we're doing you gotta and, and first you either gotta, it's in jiu-jitsu or practicing what arts. they believe mm -hmm. they believe in something they do because somebody has to hold on to something to keep going otherwise we give up that's true so what are they beliefs what they hold as a higher power, what they hold as something that they could not live without. Mm. Some people to feel happy by cars, by apartment, by this, hide themselves in this luxury, but they sad, they dead. It's what we call the walking dead people. And that's the one that are looking for guidance. And guidance only comes with a structure, with communication. And that's when we shoot ourselves in the foot because we have too much love, but we don't organize the way we say it. And we spread the word of the Jitsu. So we are a very intimidated characters. We are, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, no, unfortunately. Because uh, we are a hybrid space that now in the world we try to understand ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because nobody understands what we are about. Why this guy is so passionate about this thing? That's why, we're, I mean, every day I always look for a way to better communicate what Jiu Jitsu is and how, how training martial arts, not just, let's just not say Jiu Jitsu, training martial arts and, and the positive <laughs> effects that it brings to people. And every day, it's it's either I learn a better way of doing it, or I, I learn. But who teach you that? Myself. Ah, Richard. myself. <laughs> Richard, Alvin. No, they all the same. Mm -hmm. You need mentors. If you wanna, if you feel something in your need, you go to the mm -hmm. the dentist. It's a specialist. Mm -hmm. It's a guy that you wanna show all the love that you have. He's gonna blend and say. Say like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody gotta do that for you because you're not specialized in that. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get confused and you're gonna get tricked in the other aspect that you don't control. In Jiu Jitsu, you're so comfortable being yourself because we control the odds. Mm -hmm. But in the other ones, if you cannot touch, you cannot feel it. It is a very 100%. dangerous environment. I love you. I love you. I Podcast, podcast, podcast. Free flowing podcast, so we can take photo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> one more. And you say you are the master of all the beer, but you have an extra one. What's that? That's for that? you. I have two. Yeah. Do you think I, I want a warm beer? I saw with it. You think I want a warm beer? Oh, we will have. We will have. Huh? Or we will ask for no, ice. Wait, I'm enjoying my beer. He wants it cold. Uh -huh. oh, Why you are you the only one that I'm not drinking? Because she's on the meds. No, no, I'll have uh, I talk meds. Yeah, what kind of meds? I'm a teacher. She just made up some sick. sickness. But yesterday. What? Yesterday. Because I have 
<laughs> Your excuse <laughs> is it going inside? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw, I saw it. I no, bawal siya, bawal siya. Okay. Cannot be. Don't try to hide your mistake. Throwing beer on her. <laughs> we need to get you. We're gonna get ice. We're gonna get ice. We're gonna get ice. Okay. Hey, you. ka, metanong ka. Ikaw, ito si Dwight. Guys, Dwight is very shy. Pwede kayo magtanong, ah. Magtanong kayo. Pwede kayo magtanong kay Saulo. Hey, I told them that they can ask questions. They can ask questions. I think Mendo has questions. Everything, everything, anything, anything. Any question. I ask a question. So while they're, at, while they're waiting for your question, now how do you balance being a competitor, being a teacher, a businessman, a family guy? You know, because this is that is the most common situation for most of us here, especially us here in the Philippines. People have jobs, people want to train, they want to compete, they want to dedicate the time. But there has to be where do you strike the balance in everything? Especially first, for example, first, you stop find excuse to yourself to cheat. Mm -hmm. Start with us. Manage your time better. Oh, it take me 30 minutes and then you end up saying, oh, it takes me an hour. So I'm lying to myself. Okay. First, time management. Time management. So you know how long you have and people around you sure of your priorities because they can use your heart to let you fold some things that are necessary in order for you to reach balance. Mm -hmm. And that's when comes the six blades mm -hmm. of our logo. Family. Always there's stuff for family. But if Jiu Jitsu is a family, you cannot deny that. If uh, somebody want to blame you using like a log to, oh, you don't have time for me, but, oh no, that's not right. You gotta be able to communicate how you want to divide your time in order to bring balance and happiness. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're gonna be grumpy. Everything that you do too much is hide something that is missing. So everything that oh yeah, everything that you do too much means you're hiding something that you're missing. That you're missing. Let me ask a question now. Is there, she has a question. Go go. go. Uh, so sometimes when you feel um, tired and you're frustrated with everything, how do you deal with it? Feel tired about how do you work? feel? Uh, how do you deal with frustration? Yeah, and because tired time. has to do with motivation. Then you're gonna have to look what motivates you. Like, for example, how explain a skinny woman be able to lift a car to take the kid and her son under the car? Is a special power. What drives you that power? People take drugs, people take steroids, but what drives you to say, no, I'm around? What brings the inner force from inside yourself? For example, everybody asks me, oh, how could you fight an, uh, without an arm? My body is a unit. I fight with everything I got. If I don't have one weapon, I have a plane more. Why am I going to look for uh, glorious when I just lost a member? Mm -hmm. I'll do that for any of my brothers, for anybody that I love, I'll go. And it was not because of my arm, it's because of my heart. What drives you when you're tired? Or you're just going to fold? Oh yeah, I work... Self-pity chops my ass. And if you consider yourself a warrior, we find a way. We have to know if it's physical, we gotta know if it's mentally, or if something inside yourself that make you really because that is all like that waiting for somebody to feel sorry or find the perfect seal to be in that stage of a passive way we are the strong ones we are the warriors so why you want to act like we are weak it's because you're not finding motivation or something else is bother you that is draining your energy that you don't want to share. And then you want somebody to be your accomplice in something that is a lie. And that's worse. That's a sin. I asked that question because 
back then you were like because <laughs> back then you you know uh uni jj was was picking up and then you took a fight on meta morris against comprido right so now i was like back of my head i was like how was he able to like spend time on training running running the academy running the university you know and then doing all these other things because more or less that's what i want to do i want to be able to have a career be competitive with black belt because like for example i told my wife i go like just give me three to four more years i want to why wanna, you you want to measure your goals by a number no it's not just like that you like said active, it. no no it's like co active competition because after a few you're gonna years, compete until the day you die but you just gonna yes change. you hear that you hear that <laughs> Lisa, Saulo says, I can compete until the day I die. <laughs> Cause because it's what that. inspire you to be a competitor. Sometimes it's not yeah, a fight. That's actually a good Sometimes yeah. um, this month, I'll bet I'm going to catch 10 ladies as a student. I'm going to have 10 new white belts. It's the competition that drives you. Okay. It's a different way to stimulate your warrior way. That is not the physical combat. Physical combat get tired sometimes. So is it safe to We're say? We're not in the mood. So, so is it <laughs> the physicality? So is it safe I to dance. say that I wanna? I'm gonna compete until my body allows me to. No, that you give a limited uh, validation for your body. You're gonna compete physically until you feel happy doing that and challenge yourself in that level. Okay, that because makes sense. Because it's for sense. you. Okay, I will do that. That's not to do that. Mm -hmm. example, I'm not competing. Uh, I'm not competing for a year because I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. But some sooner I'm gonna feel the bug again. Say, yeah, let's go, let's go. But nothing will change because I'm a martial artist. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. This thing, oh, I'm gonna train to be ready. So it's more. You, gotta you have to train this to morning, be ready. This morning, for example, I did 15 minutes wall where I sit and work my legs, sit in the wall. Mm -hmm. I did my 200 push-ups. I did my abs. I'm in shape. Mm -hmm. Be in shape and be physical active without having to prove yourself to nobody. Why do we have to tell? Oh, I did this today. Did that? No, it's for you. If somebody asks, you say. But why we need that? Uh, validation somebody for a few that we are doing something. It's quiet. The warrior sharp is still very silent. If you say too much, what? I didn't you hear. have to be ready every day. No. For, for everything. Oh, diba? Lahat eh. Lahat eh. Lahat may tama eh. No. Everything makes sense now. Like, like, because uh, towards the competition, you're not going to be ready for the competition. You're going to polish your game plan. Because not you they're going to compete. It's your game plan. Mm -hmm. You're just laying in the body. <laughs> See? Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, so Now, speaking of competition, a lot of white belts out there are always asking us this and we all have varying answers. And me, sometimes I don't know which is the right answer, but coming from you, what should be the mindset for especially a beginner a beginner white belt who is going to do his or her first competition and a white belt that's been competing consistently so let's go with the, the first timer the very first time like what should they first competition enjoy the process of the choice you make enjoy the process of the choice you make after that Hakuna Matara was going to happen. <laughs> and now for... Third, be true to your feelings and communicate your sensei or something. How you feel, if you're scared, if you're dead, if you're dead. Because most, a lot of white belts are high achieving other areas in life. Mm -hmm. And they want to keep the same kind of a cover, but it doesn't work like that. And, and uh, for the seasoned competitors, the seasoned competitors, like... What is the mindset coming into a particular match or a particular fight? Is there a proper way of putting things into perspective when it comes to mental for, preparation? For what, a professional or a beginner? Um, let's go to the professional one now. Because for professional? The beginner, yeah. Save your energy to get it done and knowing that 
If you're not first, you have everybody else. <laughs> first, you have everybody else. I like that. It's not a fair I sport. Like <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Man, 60 guys in the division, just one deserves to win. Yeah, that's true. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. But life is not fair. <laughs> that is also deal true. With, that is also true. Deal with this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> You're already going to a game that the odds are completely against you. Yeah, yeah. Toughness is one weapon. Warrior ways and another weapon. weapon. What else you have? Okay. What's the game plan? What's the go-to? What's your surround of weapons that you're gonna bring in order to succeed? It's like it. What Bruce Lee did, Padoga, first floor, second floor, third floor. But if you don't get to the last one, you fail. See, because I think this is something that everyone should know and, and, and for everyone who's gonna listen to this later on. It's okay. It's okay to not win everything as long as you did your best. And you Nobody wins behaving as a champion. It's a behavior. It's a behavior. Champion. You know how many medals I have in my wallet? Man, because it's about the next one. I don't have my medals at the wall. <laughs> Why? Why do I have? Why my market is going to be bling bling if 99% doesn't have a bling? They're not going to relate to Sensei. Mm -hmm. They're gonna think that they say this untouchable man, but he's just like you. Now, polish in the art of fighting. So from the tournaments, and then let's bring it back to let's bring it back to the gym. Uh, this is also a common question that that a lot of us coaches get asked. Like, what are your expectations for a white belt, a blue belt, a purple belt, then brown to black? Like, so for a white belt. For them. Like, yeah, like feel good about themselves, enjoy the process, and tell me everything that's going wrong. And then the, this is one of the choke points now, the blue belt. So what should they be expecting from themselves? What yeah, that's how working in your system. What do you expect in the first three months of a beginner? The fundamentals. Reaching out? Bullshit! He's in... Hell, he don't know what the fuck he's doing, and he's waiting for the first excuse to quit mm -hmm. and say this shit is not for me. Okay. So first is control the panic and making him develop a new habit. Instead of going twice a week to the bar or to go doing bad choice, he came to you because if he developed that. It's going to be automatically. He's already packing. He's not even thinking. He's going to the gym. When we brush our teeth, we think, oh, I'm brushing this side. No, no, it's automatically. So number one is controlling the panic so that they don't go... Three months. Develop a new habit that makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. If they feel challenged, dread, or something else, they will quit. They just waiting for something to happen to quit. Like That's biggest... why it has to be a fun, clean, and safe environment. If it's not like that, he'll find a way of quitting. 85% of our students quit before we go. That's a disaster. <laughs> because you go to the natural survival, the only strong survival. But that's caveman times. We're not in the caveman times no more. We should be able to have a better way, right? Okay, so that's the first three months, and then once they're hooked, they're gonna train. Second get their... goal, the next three months. Next three months is the path to the green belt. What's the green belt? You have weapons and tools to survive and handle pressure. So all you tell him, I'm gonna give you weapons, this guy is gonna abuse of you, even if he's a high rank, I'm gonna give you blocks. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have to breathe, you're gonna have to feel good, but you won't be able to handle business yet. Mm -hmm. That's your next three months. When I see that on you, boom, green belt. Green belt, I give you the green light to already experience full spiral. Okay. You're gonna see yourself going to a lot of chaos situation that you don't understand because you've been tricking. Somebody's tricking you. That's your path to the blue belt. For the next six months, I'm gonna expose you to a lot of different bodies 
weapons, techniques, and you're going to start to develop your fingerprint as a fighter. Oh, I like Kampar, I like Triangle Bear, I like Butterfly Sweep. You're going to choose what make you, oh, I can fucking have this game. It's your fingerprint. Once you reach the blue belt, you know kind of what you like. And the rest of the games, because as soon as you reach the blue belt, the system guides you there. Mm -hmm. After the blue belt is what you want to do. I want to be a pro, I want to teach kids, I want to be a good uh, sparring partner. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to decide what you want. Because you, you graduate. A blue belt for our system, nobody can touch him. A regular person in the street. So he's already bulletproof against 90% of the world. And then leading to, so, so at blue belt, what are the things that he needs to work on now? Like aside from keep showing up and doing his drills, doing his reps, what are the other things that he needs to work on? Like for example, us here in the Philippines, blue belt is like that. We have, we have this word, it's called blue belt titus, where people, a lot of people quit the blue belt. So, but so that's yeah. our fault. We don't have a system to tell them what to improve. Mm -hmm. You gotta have takedowns, you gotta define your sweeps, you gotta define your attacks, your combinations. It's when you get your repertoire of what, what you got. Because mm -hmm. it's not you, it's your weapon. Okay. What do you got? So what's your favorite that? escape? What's your this? What's that? What is that? Mm -hmm. What is in your first year in the mature way got you here? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna polish that and get more weapons. Mm -hmm. And then leading to purple belt. Then purple, purple belt, belt is like when you graduate college. Mm -hmm. That's purple belt. Purple belt is graduating college. Yeah. And then brown belt is polishing everything. No. Brown belt is really define yourself in the group that you belong. Mm. But remember, it's not the outside, it's inside. Okay. You are talking about a competitive aspect. And I told you, bring back, bring it, bring it back bring it to back. your home where you sharp your skills every day. But it's not the outside that are the worst critic, they're the inside ones. Yeah, that's true. What do you represent for that guy inside? Mm -hmm. You are a training party for the upcoming. You are the smash guy. You are the right man arm for the sensei. You are the one that tend to lead to over classes. What's your value for this organization? Mm. Who are you? Because what you do for yourself is gonna die with you. What you do for the others and for the legacy to transcend. Yeah, it's gonna get back to you. It's the law of karma. Because yeah. now, cause it's more or less, that's what people are always asking, like, what's the pathway of a student? And then, so it's always us giving the answer of, of everything starts with self-defense. And then now, hearing all of this, it's putting more structure into how we're going to conduct classes, how we're going to talk to people, how are we going to introduce this now to, to people we want to reach out. Because uh, like for me, this is just my opinion and I tell this to everyone, I'm like, the Jiu-Jitsu and the MMA community in this country is really small. It's it's growing, but it's still small, and there's plenty more. And my more question out. is uh, another one: Why you guys hate so much each other instead of uh, praise each other? Why nobody's a fan of each other's work? Oh yeah, because we have, we have friends from other teams. <laughs> yeah, but you don't see that as a general. That's when you see that uh, the skills and the champions are not. Mm -hmm. born here because that is not the environment. Everybody's mm -hmm. criticized the other everybody this but who is making something for the everybody well, for the community? When you you put, know? Well this and is that's just what makes it a special place in the world. Because me this is just me. I think a lot of it has come has ha, has to do with internal bickering, politics, when you put money on when, when, when there is money involved, in the you know, waterway, you kill the waterways. There is no waterway with politics. Mm -hmm. So 
we got to have a mediator. Who is this mediator? Is some honorable guy or somebody that will take sides? Mm -hmm. Is he for the sport or is he for himself? I think we have game? yet to discover who that mediator is. <laughs> has to, first, it has to be a warrior. See? It has to be a warrior because the heart is talking to warriors. He's not talking to politics. And then, I mean, it's a very, it's a, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Especially yeah, when, is. when a lot of the history of martial arts in this country is deeply rooted in violence. So, you all have those, like, you have those scars of the past and you have... That's all the thing that seduced my mom with Jiu-Jitsu. You don't need to be violent to somebody to prove a point. Mm -hmm. You're giving him a choice of being mature and surrender instead of knocking him out. Mm -hmm. That seduced me in Jiu-Jitsu. Because some people are very stubborn. They are. They, they, they won't surrender. And they're okay, they'll surrender. And then, of course, gonna, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> and then, of course, there are people... That's why I'm a big fan of chokes, not time bars. <laughs> I don't want to break nobody's yeah. arm. I don't want to. Some people just let it happen. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Because <laughs> you uh, stop in that level, they're going to sacrifice your integrity, your physical integrity? What the fuck? Because well, even though that day, Chappelle, excuse me, come back stronger. Because I want that day to happen as well. I want yeah. that day where everyone's going to come together. We are, we are going to kill each other during tournaments, but when it comes to things that matter, when it's time to be one community, you know, I, I want that to happen as well. It's just that I don't see it happening right now or anytime soon. Because there, there, there are always several factors, there will always be several players, they will involve other people. And again, you put in politics, money, and vested interest of certain people, it, they, they don't want it to work so that it'll work for them. So more or less that's what's happening right now. And but but there are people. There are people that want things to be done in a particular way. There there are people who are concerned about the growth of the community and and for example if we go to a different country it shouldn't be different banners, it should be under one country. So I don't know. I mean a mediator would be would come in handy. I just, we just have to figure out who, who's that going to be. I vouch for that. Like I told her, I said, man, bring everybody from Jiu Jitsu here. Let me talk to them. Why we are not in the map if Philippines is a badass motherfucker? Because why? That's, why you just. Because me, honestly. happy for everybody else yeah. and for yourself. Because me, honestly, this is a sport that Filipinos can excel. Filipinos will excel in this sport. You know, my. Yeah, man. Uh, why Japanese ahead of you guys, Korean, Chinese, mm -hmm. all the men? Mongolia and all this, why you guys, do? I don't get it. Because you guys are cool, very hate and all love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 <laughs> why the guys, why the guys see Filipinos don't get the brown and black belt, they stop competing? Oh. That is that is an answer. That is not for me to answer because me, I've been competing all the time. <laughs> I've been competing. The people That's in the stable. No, no. All right, all right. He's asking a question. Why? Why are why do why do people when they get their brown and black belts don't compete anymore? I'm like. This is not a question for this table because yeah, everyone, table. everyone in this table competes. Compete every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, the tournaments <laughs> here in Philippines. Yeah, <laughs> and abroad. Yes. International. Here and abroad. Is, bro. No, here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do it. Me, when people ask me to do super fights or compete, I, I only have two questions, when and where. And then it's always, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't, no comment, no comment. When, 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 <laughs> when, when was your last competition here? Uh, my last tournament was, no, not here, Japan. I'm talking here. Wait, 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 wait. Inter, international Open. When was that? Uh, la, mid, ah, year. Mid-year, last year, mid-year. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I did international. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did international open. I won that one. And then I did Dumao. I did Dumao. Who you compete against? Uh, brown belt. I was a brown belt last year. So. Uh, who you compete against? Uh, one guy from Japan. Where are the Filipinos? They didn't sign up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why me, I just sign up. <laughs> if I don't have anybody in my bracket, I just get a refund. I'm not going to get a medal. I won't do it. I don't do it like that. So if I don't get it, I, 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 like for Locally, I competition, but in grappling, in grappling, that's like... Why are you changing something no, no, no. if I'm asking about something specific? Yellow, yellow. Uh, oh, we, we did that new WWE, United World Wrestling. Uh, they have a grappling division. We we competed there as well. Talking about jiu-jitsu. Uh, no, 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 no. They just call it grappling, but it's jiu-jitsu. Talking about jiu-jitsu. She went to the States. The name of the tournament is Dumao. January now. Last year, November. Last year, November. November 2019. Who you competing against? Nobody. Nobody signed up. So you didn't compete? Yeah, I always, I always... She I always signs up, always but sign no up. one registers. Like, so I always here? put my name on it and nobody... Yeah. I can't do anything about it. We don't have a problem with competing. Yeah, it's not us. We like, we like competing. Oh yeah, but that's the question for everybody. Because Jiu-Jitsu yeah. is one... Well, of course... I don't know. I, I don't want to make excuses for other people. I don't want to make... I don't want to answer questions for them, but of course they have their reasons. They 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 have their reasons. Other people have no, their reasons. No, because the ego is the size of a fucking moon, but they don't have skills. I don't know. There, 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 we, have, we have pretty good brown belts here. I, I have pretty good brown belts here. From other teams, there are good brown belts. Why they don't put a name? Oh. Uh, but I know them. I know no, them. No, no. <laughs> I know, know why? them. They're good. They're good. You know why? Why? Because they terrify of your own people criticize them. And they rarely lose outside. They look at you guys, ah Tipu Day. They rarely be a douche outside. Yeah, yeah. They come here and like, oh, at least I lost at the world. Oof, I can yeah, still play tough. Yeah, there are people who are like that, but. Back in my Me. Oof, because losing here home, no. Oh my god. <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous. Losing, it's losing in home yeah, yeah. soil. It's losing in, in front of their teammates, in front of their students. But I don't know. Should be the opposite. Have pride for a country. Say, fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. Feel it. This is the shit. <laughs> but that's, that's not for us. That's not for us. Oh, I, uh, you you have too much proud you about yourself, you but you not your you country. Spiritual death. Not for us. Not for us. We can beat here. We can. We can beat here. We can beat here. Advice for the, what they call them, they're scared now. Oh yeah, what he's saying is people who don't compete locally are scared to lose locally. Do you think they're scared? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm a dreamer. We're, we're going we're gonna to put ice. While you're thinking, we're going to put ice so that you don't have hot beer. Okay, so, I don't, I don't want to I don't know, me, I, don't, I cannot relate to that question because me and my brother we compete all the time. But but in all fairness, there are really good and talented purple and brown belts, black belts here. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. <laughs> 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 
Grabe, na call out, na call out sa Santa. Ano ang swing at wedding? Hindi ako nakuwi. Yeah, but I was like, uh, so that's something that that we are all doing our best. You know, we're growing the teams, we're growing the chapters, we're growing student count, we're doing our best to get people hooked into jujitsu, and then I mean, amongst other things, I mean, there's always life. Life will always happen, and, and especially in a country like this, you know, the Philippines as a country has a lot of money. It's just that the distribution of wealth is not so balanced. So, so people getting so people have to find ways, and they are finding ways. So now it's I, I, a lot of the questions that I have have been answered in terms of how you structured everything a while ago, like from the approach to to persuading them to. We're not selling the martial art, but more. Do we of, have a just a federation here? Uh, there's, I think there are two. If you think you like, do you know? I'm not sure. Oh, you don't. <laughs> I think there's one. Oh, yeah, 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 there's if one. There's you think one. Think you're late. <laughs> if you're late, you must sell. You must sell. You die. All right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> We don't know if you have a Philippine Federation. Jesus! There's two. Because I'm thinking of the... A lot of people are creating... There are a lot of people creating federations, but as far as I know, there are two legal entities. Do we have a Federation Philippines? Can we have? No, do we have? Well, there are a lot of... Oh, oh, see? Right. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's that's my answer. Do we have a Jiu-Jitsu Federation in the yeah. Philippines? Yeah. <laughs> it's either, it's either right one question. or there are tons. Yeah. <laughs> ask the right question. No. <laughs> <laughs> Same reaction. It's all those face palming right face now. Palming. <laughs> a very you know, big face palm. You know what we call it? <laughs> you know what we call it? Uh, <laughs> Uh, so we don't even exist. We are a mugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what we call we it? We don't even qualify to sit in the round table. <laughs> wow. How do you feel as an English? What we call it? What do you call Who can be higher? Yeah. So who is? I want to cry right now. <laughs> We don't have chips, we don't have federation, we don't have... We don't have... No, there's, there's the Jiu-Jitsu Federation of the Philippines and then there's the uh, one created by Wrestling Association of the Philippines. So for me, in terms of legal, of legal entities, there are two. The Jiu-Jitsu Federation of the Philippines. But Jiu-Jitsu Federation of the Philippines, death tax not bad. What? Why? 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 Others except us. It's except us. Them versus, it's like us versus them. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Ask Alvin. Ask Alvin. <laughs> Ask Alvin. Yes. Ask Alvin. I've been qualifying for all those years. I've been competing for all those tournaments to qualify. Name was never included in the yeah, list. Oh, wait. So we have a federation? Yeah. What's the name of the Federation? Jiu-Jitsu Federation of the Philippines. Who is the president? Uh, very, he's a guy from a very politically powerful family. <laughs> Without sinking my own shit right now. So, like, What's the name? Uh, I think his name is Choi Kowango. Is he a what? Uh, is he a black belt? No, he's not. He's a what? Uh, he's a politician. He does jiu-jitsu? He doesn't do jiu-jitsu. Oh, he doesn't do jiu-jitsu. He doesn't do jiu-jitsu. And what qualify him to be 
president of the federation? Uh, there was a committee that voted him into Who? the Philippine uh, government. <laughs> what? So it's all under the Philippine Sports Commission. Wait a minute. But well, how you can have a president of a federation that doesn't understand about the gyps? Politics. No, no, no. It's illegal. That's gonna back to these slavery times. You guys are gonna put up with that shit? I don't know. Of course, there are. No, there no, no. What I mean, this is illegal. It's illegal. They did it the legal way. No, not because it hurt the principles of what we stand for. Mm -hmm. And I can't go. Well, it steps down. I'm not gonna say. Yeah. So I mean, these are the things that we're working on. These are the things. These are the things that we're working on. These are the things that we're working with. You know? I hope things get better. I really hope. hope. That, I really hope yeah, things get go better. Church. <laughs> you brother, home, go, go church. Go to church and pray. We take it. Home. We edit it. Wala. Di pwede. Di tayo nag edit Straight, straight upload to. Ah. See, so I was like. So these are the things that, that hopefully we're gonna hopefully yeah me 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 very hopeful I'm a very hopeful guy <laughs> so. I don't I choose odds and I take it what's on my reach I control my destiny I'm too skillful for not huh yeah oh yeah. So after a few moments, uh, the music got really loud, so we had to cut it off. So I really hope that um, this episode helped a lot of people provide value to the jiu-jitsu and the MMA community. And I, at times I, I had to stop myself because, you know, I'm talking to Saulo Hibero, talking to a legend. I'm talking to a good man. I was having a conversation in one of the most and possibly one of the more honest way honest ways as possible. So uh I don't know. I, I wish I could have done it a better way, but it is what it is and um I enjoyed every mo every moment of it. So thank you to Knots and Crosses, thank you to Bottle Boy PH. Thank you to all one coffee. That's what Coach Franklin says. And that's been our episode with the great Saulo Ibero.